Hi, I'm Jason Hennessy with Everspark Interactive, and today what we're going to be talking about is, this is going to be hard, it's Halloween here at Everspark, and so we're going to be talking about something fun that you can do to fix an SEO problem that a lot of people might not even realize that they have. So a good friend of mine, Paul Goldstone, had posed a question on Facebook, hold on, that's not Paul. Paul cut his hair, so we need to get rid of that there. Paul is from CO.com, and he posed the question, should you use HTTP forward slash forward slash domain.com, or should you use HTTP forward slash forward slash www.domain.com? All right, so a lot of people don't realize this, but you might have a problem with your website if you have both of these with the www and without the www loading at the same exact time. So first of all, what are the problems? So the biggest problems are they can be seen as duplicate content to Google and it could cause indexing problems. So that's the first problem. The second problem here is that it splits your link authority and your page rank, decreasing all of the power of the overall page. So let's talk about what I mean by that. So let's just say that you have a non-www page that's loading and then you have the www page that's loading. And so you're out there in the World Wide Web, you're doing some important things and people are linking back to your website. Well, the problem is, is that if you have two pages that are loading, A, you've got a duplicate content problem because Google can see both pages have the exact same content, but B, if there's 10 websites out there that are linking back to you, and let's just say site four, three, and five are linking to the non-www page, and you know the rest of them are linking to the www page. Well, what's happening is you're actually splitting the page rank in between two different versions of your homepage, and it doesn't just stop there. Like a lot of times, people ask, "Is is it you know should I use the non-www or the www version?" But that's not just it because. There's also more problems over here. Like for example, if you have a secure website, so you might have HTTPS domain.com, and then you might have HTTPS www domain.com, and you might have another version, domain.com with a forward slash, and then www domain.com forward slash, then one with an index, you know, index.php. So there can be 15, 20 different versions of your homepage at once and you might not even know it. And how does that happen? Well, usually it's when you're linking from your website, the internal links. You probably link to uh, one that has a forward slash and in another link you might link to one that might go to the secure page. So it causes all this kind of problems out there and then people start linking to all these different versions of the site. So that's a problem. But let's talk about the solutions here. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to check to see how your domain loads. So if you go to you, you know, the web address and you type in www.domain.com and it loads, okay. But if you type in without the www.domain.com and that also loads, well, again, that's, that's a problem. So check that first, manual check. The second thing is there's link analysis tools so that you can actually go and study where are most people linking to. So if more people are linking to your www version, well, you might want to use that one, right? Because that's where all the popularity is being pointed. So why try to 301 redirect that to that and lose some of the, uh, the page rank when you, when you do that? So you can use a couple tools. The first tool is Ahrefs. Ahrefs.com, and the second is Majestic.com. It's formerly Majestic SEO. So those are good link analysis tools. And you'll just go in there and you put your URL in there with the www and without the www, and see which one has more links pointing back to it. And that will give you a good idea of which one that you probably want to use. The third thing that you want to do is you want to run a crawl of your website because. You want to be able to find all of these other versions of your homepage that might be out there just through the internal links on your website. So we use a tool, it's called Screaming Frog SEO Spider, and if you'd like, there's some really good uh, tutorial videos on YouTube that you can just search for Screaming Frog or SEO Spider, and it'll show you how to use it. 
Um, I believe that there is no free version of that tool, but it's definitely a, a, a good investment. I want to say it's like 100 bucks one-time fee. All right, and then the fourth thing that you want to do is after you do all this analysis here, you want to pick the most powerful, most powerful URL. Then you want to 301 redirect all of the other URLs that you find to the most powerful. So if you find that you have the secure version of your domain, well, you want to redirect that to that, right? You want to use the 301 redirect, which is a permanent redirect. If you find that there's this version of your URL out there as well, again, you want to redirect that too. Next thing you want to do is you want to go in after you do this crawl and you want to change all the internal links so they all point to the same root domain, the home page. And again, if we're going to use the www, have all the links point to that. And then the fourth thing that you want to do within Google Webmaster Tools, you want to set the URL to your preferred domain. And that's something that Google allows you to do in Google Webmaster Tools. All right, I hope you find these videos informative. If you do, um, we just published a book. It's called My SEO Blueprint. It's the definitive guide to getting your website to rank higher on Google. There's over 50 tips in here, just like this one. And there's a banner right below the page here. If you want to get this, it's absolutely free. All you got to do is click on the banner, uh, put your email in there, and we'll get it to you right away. Thank you so much, and happy Halloween.